A designer from the top end has taken skins from a variety of rather weird and exotic creatures and transformed them into unique fashions. Therese O'Hare manages this shop in Darwin. She makes her own designs and business is booming. So much so that this week her creations are on display at the Ausfair trade show at Darling Harbour. Therese is with us this morning. Good morning. Welcome morning. to 11 a.m. Where did Thank this idea all start from? Well, it started three years ago in Darwin. A gentleman came to me with some Barramundi skin and asked me, could I do something with it? And, of course, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're a, a fashion designer by trade? Uh, yes, yes. And have you used skins before? Uh, not until that time, three years ago. And how does Barramundi skin compare to uh, others that you've used? I find it just as uh, durable. It's actually better to work with. It's a product you can work with in your hands. Very pliable. Very strong. And strong. Yeah. Mm. So how would you use it? In what designs? Well, I'll just show you something quickly here. Mm. This is the first garment that I ever made from the Barramundi skin. And that is a full garment from Barramundi. Quite extraordinary. Do people know what they're buying when they come into your store? Not necessarily. Uh, they often touch it and ask you, what's this? <laughs> now, As you can see. Yes. Now these Barramundi aren't uh, fished just for the skins. No. The uh, Barramundi fish is a consumable uh, product, as you all know, everyone loves fish on the dinner plate, and uh, many years, for many years, they've been throwing the skins overboard for the sharks. Right. So, so now it's we are reusing a product that otherwise would have gone to waste. That's right. And you're doing that with other skins as well. Don't tell me something horrendous like chicken's feet, I believe. Yes, we have a little bit of chicken feet here to show you. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's the chicken feet. At the moment, we're just looking at some of your fashions. Here we go, here. So you've just used them uh, basically as uh, a design applique mm. as opposed to any great benefit from the skin. Mm. Who has to take the skin off those dreadful chicken's feet? You don't have to do that job, do you? That would no, be no, not at task. all. Prestige Leather in Darwin are the tanners for all these skins that I have with me today. And you colour them and dye them? and uh, They do all the colouring and dyeing and uh, I make use of the skin. This is actually chicken skin. That's a chicken skin. And so how does normally it... people would eat that, but uh, nowadays it's become a if cholesterol. If we were in a Chinese restaurant, I guess that would be very crispy and punchy, yeah, wouldn't it? that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, this one here is obviously from a, a crocodile. Yes, that's the back skin of a crocodile. This is a very young crocodile. All the skins are farmed in the Northern Territory, and uh, this is also a farmed skin. Most of these skins, if you were to take them overseas, you must have the tags on the skin. And you can see here from the Conservation Commission, it's very important. So any product that you do purchase with crocodile skin must have these tags. Otherwise, you're dealing with someone who shouldn't be tanning. <laughs> Who's buying from you? A lot of overseas interest? Uh, a there's of a lot tourists? of overseas interest, a lot of tourists, yeah. Mm. Darwin is a very transit place. Well, congratulations. Uh, the Ausfair trade show at Darling Harbour. She's going to be looking at some uh, unusual fashions made out of barramundi skin, of all things. But firstly, Tim Bailey at Sam Seafood in Brisbane. You've got the real thing there, Timmy. The real article, Hammer. Now, I don't know about fashion made out of barramundi. There's a barra there. I wouldn't like to have a pair of Speedos made out of that. Might make a good cardi, though. What do you reckon, Joy? Oh, I, actually, I think a pair of Speedos would be OK because apparently they're waterproof, being a fish, of course. <laughs> and I'm Fair here enough. <laughs> I'm here today at the um, Ausfair trade show with my friend Therese O'Ha. And uh, tell us about the barramundi skin. It's certainly an unusual type of skin. Is it leather skin? Well, it's a skin. There are three uh, different techniques in tanning with the barramundi skin. Here we have a feathered finish in the barramundi skin. Uh, here we have a matte finish, which is very smooth. And here we have a skin in the barramundi which is clipped back. The skin is clipped right back so you can actually see the detail in where the scale was on the fish. Let's have a look at this feathered one again. Does this come off? No, it doesn't unless you tug at it. Right. But it does stay there and it's very, very long lasting It's skin. beautiful. It's really crepey looking. Um, let's have a look at some other unusual skins that you make clothes out of. Sonia's holding up some of your creations over here. Tell us about this one. This one they call a uh, chic skin. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, a chic to, skin? Yeah, to the viewers. It's chicken. Oh, yeah, this is... This is... Chicken skin. Someone ate this? 
Yeah, I think they did. Oh, wow. And uh, to go with that chicken skin is the foot, which is uh, displayed here on the jacket. Oh, gross. Chicken feet oh, lapels. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, here, and here's an even more clear version of that, Mike. Here are uh, three chicken feet on the back of this jacket with rutail. Are these very popular? Yes, they are. I've only just started working with uh, the chicken skin this year, and uh, the reaction has been quite uh, overwhelming, actually. And I believe you're going to be making a wedding dress out of chicken feet yes. when you go home. Is yes, that right? when I get back, I'm making a wedding dress uh, with uh, the white chicken feet. Yeah. Bit of a spinner. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, what about mice, rats, uh, uh, goldfish? Now, now, now. No? <laughs> Let's not get excited. This is shark skin here. And to complement the shark skin is crocodile Gorgeous. on this jacket. And cane toad as well, which I believe is very popular now for men's footwear. Cane toad boots. What, a couple landed there or...? <laughs> Therese, is, 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 the idea is here though that, that basically any, any animal skin can, can be tanned in some way and you, you're using them creatively to create fashions out of them. I mean, these are obviously, people don't think about using chicken's feet to make clothing. Well, I only use skins that are licensed to be tanned, of course, and uh, they're all a waste product, these skins, as you can see here today. And um, I'm not sure if I'll get into the rats or the, uh, no. the goldfish. <laughs> what are they worth, actually, Therese? The bar what would a barramundi skin be worth? Well, an average size skin, as you saw before on the uh, display, would be about 8 to $10 a skin. Oh, wow. Mm. And, and uh, who buys them? Well, I just recently made a wedding dress for a lady who works at the crocodile farm in Darwin and she uh, was married in a, a wedding dress made from barramundi skin. <laughs> it's so yeah. unique. Um, a, a full barramundi skin wedding gown. Mm. Skin tight. Yeah. And tell me, um, what is on the drawing board? Uh, can you see lobster tails, prawn tails? Well, there's a few men out there I wouldn't mind uh, skinning and tanning. <laughs> no, that was in another movie, I yeah. think. Silence of the Lambs or something, I think that was. Yeah, one. yeah, that's Therese, right. thanks very much for joining us here this morning. Thank and, you very uh, much. The, actually, this Oz Fair trade show does close today, so it's specifically for retailers. So any retailers out there who want to come down, make it down to Darling Harbour in New South Wales before 4pm today. And see you tomorrow in the studio, Mike. OK, thanks, Joy. Thanks, Therese. Yeah, tra it's a, a trade show, but of course a great chance for us all to have a look at what's going on there at Darling Harbour. Some uh, new and exciting things that we'll probably be seeing in the stores before long. That's a really interesting. It's three to eight. We'll take a break and then Ron Wilson will... It is a truth. ...who should not only look special but feel special on her wedding day. And a Darwin bride-to-be who plans to walk down the aisle next month will certainly be different. Her unique outfit comes from top-end designer Therese O'Hare. There's only one place to go in Darwin for that special exotic number, Gecko Private Collection. It's the showcase of fashion designer Therese O'Hare. Therese gave us a glimpse of some of her creations just recently and showed us some of the exotic hides she uses, such as barramundi, on its own or together with other leathers. But since then, Therese has made a wedding dress like no other. First of all, let's meet the bride, Jill a regular customer at Gecko. And I knew that she'd do something really wild and really different, so I approached her and she told me, oh, I'd be honoured to make your dress. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Chicken feet. Therese had been waiting for just such an opportunity. Because I've done something in Barramundi in a wedding dress, I thought the chicken feet would look fantastic. Yeah, so they do, they look great. Of course, Therese just doesn't go out and lop the legs off any old chooks. The skins are bleached and supplied by a tanner. So they're just right for a wedding gown. And Jill is thrilled with the result. It's exquisite. It's better than I ever thought, ever imagined. I knew it would be something great, but this is unbelievable. And this is it. Poultry matrimonious. 48 chicken feet have been stitched onto the gown. It took a solid five days to make and cost somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000, which would buy a lot of takeaway chook. This latest work has egged Therese on to even more exotic endeavours. In September, she'll be showing a collection of her fashions in the United States, where she hopes to win over some big-name clients. The next dress that I want to do, I want to do for someone like Madonna or Cher, so I'm working on that at the moment. But I want that in perhaps cane toad or mixed in cane toad and snake. And given that there are millions of cane toads in Australia, Therese should have no trouble running up a few outfits. Tony Crowley, 11am.
Teresa here giving new meaning to value-added fashion. But when we return, our Barcelona report.